All right, so let's get started with the inside. So right here, I think it's gonna be a, I'm gonna be a living room or a dining room. I think this would be better to be a dining room. So what I'm gonna do because this house is a little modern, I'm gonna use a trick I use with with string. You can find that there. Yeah, there it is. String. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a base. So I'm gonna say this is the base, and this tape is gonna go by eight. And then I'm gonna have string all around there, and this is because the outer shader, so you can see how the dynamic dynamic lighting works, like that. And then I'm gonna have carpet. A lot of people know about this trick, but I'm gonna make this red because I really want to have a little color pop. You can see how much a difference that makes. Yeah, this is a table. This is just a little table. No, not a little table. And I actually chose to do this one over a living room here because I originally wanted to make a living room, but then I realized, oh, not this one. The size is going to be just simply too small, and we'll have to use this. So there is a table, and then you can obviously put chairs on the edges here. I'm not going to do that just yet. And then over here, we kind of have a little bit of a space. So what I'm going to do here is make a little kind of wine rack. And it's something that I think is pretty cool in houses. Um, not a lot have them, so I'm gonna make some up down downstairs, going from here to here, kind of like a tavern style, and I have one op open for entry over there. You can have that. That. So that's the first part. Right, then I have stairs coming from under there. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can put one there. Yeah, I can. And can I put, yeah, I'll put one. Oh, I didn't need to put that block. It's over there. And then I'm once again going to get some stairs and I'm gonna fill this part up over here because it's a one rack. You don't need too much air in there. So I'm gonna, that's basically the one rack so far. And I'm also gonna grab some slabs. Uh, yeah, there you go. And, uh, just kind of put them over here because they live out of the place, or can I? No, that's the same stone, so. So that's the one does, I guess. That's just to cover up that kind of weird lighting glitch. Uh, now I have two by the two over here. Now I'm going in, I'm going to have two sections of the room once again. So I'm going to have one right here kind of be locked off so and I really like the pop of color that Acacia brings to this house because otherwise the house isn't very colorful that's a source of light light and you can also have your racks of wine so I'm just going to do that by getting some slabs I'm pretty sure it just had it I don't know why I got rid of it and I'm going to always use up this downstairs first First, and then a room for another slab. Slab kind of going like that, so we have some space down there. And then on top roof slab, so we have two, two slabs. And this is a little kind of a wine rack, rack kind of room. Then down here, and then this can be a side door entrance. So I'm just going to make that entrance, because this house really doesn't have a lot of entrances uh, for some reason. But, but I'll, I'll tell you. I'm gonna figure it out. And now, here is one of our main problems. We need some lighting. We need some natural light. This is a modern house. It's full of light on one side, and then the light just goes, yeah. Nope, don't want any of that. So, I'm going to go ahead and make a full window. So, I'm gonna make it all the way up here, and I'm just gonna punch out all of this that you saw previously. So, and I'm also gonna add my sand, I'm pretty sure I have sand as a floor. Well, because I really wanted white, but I didn't want it too white. For some reason. And that's going to be this whole part. Section here. And then for all here, it's going to be glass. And probably like, oh, well, there's going to be some section left off in there. And yes, this is where we're going to get some... What is it called? Pins? And I'm going to use black pins to make them 
nice contrast and there we go and that's our lighting problems finished uh, solved I should say and also yes we are going to have a guest bedroom and this guest bedroom is going to be over here so it's kind of three bedrooms but I also wanted to put a washroom on the floor so I guess the washroom is going to be in probably this this area but anyway no, that's not very important. What I got to get sorted right now is the kitchen. So obviously, I'm going to go for for a minimalist design on the kitchen, but I want to do the living room first because I figured that was a little bit more important at the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get more slabs, slabs, but once again, add more pops of culture because we're using that kind of end end rod, and then I'm going to use upside down stairs, uh, and that's going to be the quartz and I'm going to end cap them with nether. So I'm going to tell you exactly what I mean by that. So I'm going to have usually, actually not usually, basically with all my houses, I have this kind of uh, bisectional going. So I'm actually going to take out this stair uh, case system. I kind of put here for some reason. I'm not quite sure anymore. Well, but I, get, I think it looked nice at the time because I wasn't making interior decorating. Now interior decorating and exterior decorating are very, very different and because because of that, you kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of have to change around your builds to kind of suit those type of needs. So there you go. And I'm pretty sure if we move that one block back, which we can, we're gonna have even more space to put in a huge TV. But that's not important right now. What is is first off, we're gonna have a little TV section over here. So that's gonna be another rack. like that and it's also going to come around and it's going to encase the light source which is still going to allow light to pass through but it's going to look a lot cleaner yeah that's also going to get a nice contrast with our couch oh, so now we're going to go ahead and make our couch now it's going to start off looking quite weird because i'm going to use upside down stairs like that one two it's going to go back by one more block and then it's going to curl around any of you have ever seen a uh, glass actual, this is basically like that, but sectional, but it's a tri-sectional, so low. I'm going to go ahead and cap that off over there, there, and then we're going to place in, um, oh, I can actually extend this back by one more, so I'll do that. that that's going to look really nice, but it's also going to look really crazy, because I said, like I said, I'm going to end cap it with the nether rack. And that kind of changes the look a little bit. Like that. And actually, ooh, it's better if I end cap them like this. Or wait, no. I need to end cap them like that. Get over here. So that's going to look a lot better. Yep. It's going to look like blocks, but they're not blocks. And I don't know that. Uh, right there. Oh, yeah, I got to kind of. Excuse me. go. And I destroyed my floor. But yeah, that is the living room couch kind of done. And then we can have a little a little couch over here, something that's gonna obviously consist of another rack and then one in the middle. So that's kind of a, a love seat. And then we're gonna build a TV. Actually wait, let me kind of extend the love seat back a little bit. There you go. Or well, I can make a little. Do I do that? No. Well, I just have a single love seat there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the two over there and make that look a lot more. Um, better. So now that you've probably seen that this huge source of lighting, it's kind of an eco house as well because of this huge source of lighting here. And that's really what makes this house a little bit eco, because that's our main source of light. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to incorporate some of the rocks outside, side, and I'm actually going to use dorite because I really like that type of finish it has. And I want to make this house still open concept, but kind of with walls too, to to implement something a little bit different. And just by capping on that. Um, feel I'm not going to have this wall uh, touch the roof there because that would make, 
I get a little bit um, too, I think, too closed off. And kind of give it that feel of isolation when you want that open feel. feel to it. So this one is only going to last for this long. On the allowing us to get a nice view of the uh, living room. And now it is time to install the TBS. I know. So first thing you see, paintings. Paintings are always first for TVs. Or, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I spelled painting wrong, so. Oh, the first part at least. And I'm pretty sure in this full of texture pack, one of the 2x2s two two is, is a TV, but I'm going to use a different one, so. I need a. Yeah, that one, so. Oh. It's actually a really nice picture. I've never seen it before, so I'm going to go ahead and use stairs for the first part, if I like that. And it's kind of going to act as a TV set, if you want if you're wondering, so what a TV set this is. And we're gonna have two slots on both sides, um, or these sides. Sides which kind of look like oh is there a block there? No, there isn't. The lighting makes it look like there's a block there. There, and then we have a four by four section for I think two paintings. We'll see, I'll cycle through and then I'll come back to you when I am done that cycle through. Alright, I've been cycling through for a while, and this is what I got. It's a great TV set, and it looks a lot modern too, and we can change that painting if we don't really like it that much, so that is great. Now what we're going to do is going to move on to a little bit of a kitchen scene, but one thing I've actually forgotten to do in the house, oh no, is to use this cracked stone brick and kind of separate the kitchen from this other bedroom here, which I'm going to have which is kind of the guest bedroom, and that's where I want, want visible there. So, I'm going to case this off a little bit, a little bit of glass, uh, if I can actually find... Actually, I think that's long enough. So I'm going to use this glass, obviously, and I'm going to use some black glass, and then some gray glass, and then some cyan glass. And I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do. It. So I'm going to use glass, uh, black paint on the bottom. So all going across here and then obviously having a hole for entrance. There you go. And by the way, this is a pretty nice guest bedroom. So oops, that's too much I mean too little space, we don't have enough space. So I'm gonna go okay across and that's gonna be our entrance way. So we have to destroy the ender rod. Don't worry, it's going back. In a periodically tap. <laughs> and then for this part, we're going to have the light gray, like I was talking about. So, right. Across here. You'll be asking, alright, then where's the sign going to go? Really simple. Ooh, actually, I have to put this part on light gray as well. And this part, so. There you go. And the cyan is going to go right up here to add a little pop of color on the door side. So that's the door, and they all connect up really nicely and make for a nice guest bedroom. So this is the guest bedroom, and it also has ensuite accessibility to the pool, which we're going to have pretty soon. But now, for like I said, our main focus is the kitchen. And that's just something really cool I found, found out right now is that if you go behind this, you actually can't see any of the glass panes other than the mirror back there. So it's a nice little feature, walk on in through, and now we're going to have our kitchen. Now our kitchen is going to continue right from our living room, living room in kind of a seamless style fashion. So we're going to have to have the countertops, which I'm going to use granite. So I'm going to just type in granite here, and it's a little bit of green clay. So hardened clay, and some green stained glass to really incorporate the outside on the inside, you know what I mean? So I'm also going to use some, like I said, granite, polished granite, and then I'm going to use quartz, upside down quartz layers to connect it all. So this is the countertops for the kitchen island. So we're going to have a 2x2 two two island, 2x8 two island, and it's going to kind of come around only on this side, so I'm going to put two blo blocks on each side. And then what I really wanted to do now 
We'll put some green hardened clay and then some green black. That's in here. And I'm gonna have us put uh actually no, I need dirt, sorry. Where did I Where did I think I can put it? Well, I think I can do it all by myself. Well, we can actually have some grass going in right from here and having some bushery. So now I'm gonna go whoosh. Sorry. Bus. Uh, I'm actually going to use double tall grass. I'm going to see just how great this looks in a minute. Yeah. Take a look at that. That looks really nice. So I'm going to have that bush kind of get in the house and make our lives a little greener. And I don't know why I don't have that. Was that only work on the outside? Wait, let me see. Um, there's usually, there's usually a swaying motion with my tree, with my tree, see if I can actually find it. There you go. I'm my trees. Yeah. There's a swaying motion. Does that work just with that, or not with tall grass? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't work with tall grass. Hmm. So... Maybe we're gonna have to do a short glass. I don't know. Alright, let's go back inside. Okay. And now honestly I'm going to have another section countertop, so over there, but this time it's four by four. And we're gonna have incorporated kind of uh drawbacks like I always use. So now we're gonna do we're gonna get the right for our fridge and our fridge is gonna be that and we're going to use stone it's going to be cobblestone and just put it on the back there to kind of simulate a um not a fridge what I, I was about to say fridge but to simulate a uh fridge i can't speak today apparently and then we're going to have our two kitchen sinks, so copper. Right, just like that. And we're going to have a really nice convenience of having our sink here, and then our ovens here. So, furnace, because with this texture pack, the furnaces do look really nice. So basically if I overlay the texture pack with something else, so if we go back to options, video settings, uh, not video settings. Yeah, video settings. And then, no, I'm pretty sure I should just go to resource packs. And then put Moderna on. Done. This is going to take a while. There you go. You can kind of see the overlay. Yeah, that looks really nice. So I might actually build this house in Moderna. But um, you can see that this is kind of changed. What else has kind of changed? Uh, these have changed a lot drastically. But yeah, you can basically see if I overlay Moderna, they, the stoves really come to life. And that's what I want to show you, so. Alright. And this also lines up nice with the end furnace. So now I can actually go back. Put the door right on here. Here. And then have. Sucky thingies, I don't know what they're called, but it's going to be a slab of quartz and something else. So it's going to kind of go like that, then like that. That's a sucky thing. And I can also incorporate uh, a chest. So for some extra storage, I'm going to use chests here. So here and then one on top so they can both open. And then, oops, getting dark again. And you can always tell when it's getting dark in this house. And then I'm gonna have one for by the like, kitchen cabinetry and knives. Actually, no, kitchen cabinetry and knives over here. And then obviously I'm gonna have carpet, so they look really nice. So, oop, and I fill it back in with granite. And then why on the carpet here? So. Pretty sure this is the overlay of Moderna, so like if I go 
back into it. This brown cover is going to look a little bit different, but that's fine. And that's the kitchen. Simple as that. It flows right in and it fits right in as well. But now we have a bit of an issue. What is all of this? So, that's the thing. I don't know. What can this be? Uh, it could be a different living room. But here's the thing I wanted to do. I always wanted to wash them in this house. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this again. So, B, and I'm also going to actually use quartz. So, I can find quartz. Like that. And I'm going to kind of, okay. Yeah. Right down there. And then I'm going to make that too high. I'm going to do something else to it, which if you guys watched another one of my old videos, you probably already know what I'm going to do. So, yeah, I think I'm going to cut this video right after we make the um, bathroom. So, uh, sorry, but uh, it's been long, okay? I've been recording for, I don't know how long, I need to look at the timestamps. Uh, like, uh, so I don't know, actually, how long do I think I've been recording? Probably not long, probably under 30 minutes. And this is going to be the washroom, so I'm going to have a shower here because I really am a fan of showers in bathrooms, so it's going to be a continuation of this white kind of plain, plain paint here, and then a tripwire hook, so a tripwire hook here, like that, and then I'm going to make a little drain system here, so I'm just going to make some pipes, oh, individual leading to other places, blah, 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 blah. Oh, there you go. Get back up here. Here, add some water. water so. Water. And this water looks absolutely beautiful, by the way. Okay. And, um. So, I'm going to use a um, drain. And I always use, um. Iron trapdoors. Drains, so and you can kind of see through it, and there's kind of water there, but yeah, so that's nice. Nice right there. There's the shower. Now we're gonna have the poopy -poo throne down somewhere, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and grab another hopper. So grab another hooper hopper, as crowds call them, and then I'm gonna have a double sink with the convenience of two. Uh, okay, one single sink. And I'm going to go back in the kitchen, grab another chest, and then go up on the top. And because there's a slab there, you can actually use those as storage. So I'm going to switch up the chest with the trap chest here so I can put it over there. And then for mirrors, we're going to have a glass pane kind of going over that. Which kind of, eh, you can still wash your hands. Uh, hmm. I'm actually going to do that here. I don't know. Those are mirrors, kids. That, that, that right there is a mirror. So, you know, so like I said, the poop throne, so I'm going to do white color once again. Upside down quartz stair. And then carpet. In this case, it's going to be white, and there's your toilet. So, I'm just going to close that off for now. And there you go. So, that, guys, is. Actually, wait a second. Ooh, that was a long episode. That was a very long episode. I'm actually going to take a screenshot of the actual house, and then we can actually do an overview of it. Ooh, that was long. So, hopefully, you have enjoyed this video. If you want to see another video, I'll. Uh, whenever this video gets 20 views, I will upload the other video, so that gives, should give me, um, I don't know, maybe two weeks, maybe a month, I don't know, if you guys really like this, then please do comment, like my channel, if you do like building videos, uh, and interior decorating videos, and also, if you want me to do a let's build of any of my house, uh, houses um, that you guys like then please do comment that down below and if one person comments anything I'll do it because that's how small this YouTube channel is but I really thank you for watching I really appreciate it 
and if you like my videos then you're a good sport lad and I'll catch you in the next one yeah goodbye